The History GCSE is a rigorous and challenging course. It is an academic qualification that is highly valued by employers and by Russell Group universities such as Oxford, Bristol, Cardiff and Exeter. A GCSE in History will ensure that you have developed lifelong skills such as the ability to debate, produce a well-supported argument and research events. In Year 10, students study America in depth. This course covers America from 1910 to 29. We study events from the open door policy which welcomed immigrants into America to why this policy was changed when the government passed laws to stop certain groups from coming into the country. We look at the treatment of black Americans, including how they were segregated as well as how they were treated under the KKK. The course also covers the rise of gangsters, which came about as the result of the introduction of prohibition, which was when the government banned alcohol. During this unit, we study social development in the 1920s, from the popularity of the radio, cinema, its development from silent movies to talkies, and the impact of jazz music. In the Depression War and Recovery Unit, we look at Britain in the 1930s and the severe depression that hit which resulted in hunger marches and extreme poverty caused by the high unemployment rates. We look at the impact of the Second World War in the country, covering the Blitz, evacuation, as well as analysing whether Britain was prepared for war by 1939. We complete this unit by looking at the reforms that were passed after the war. We study the setting up of the NHS under Niran Bevan, and gain an understanding of everything it stands for by providing comprehensive care from maternity provision to A&E. The thematic study of crime and punishment fascinates our students as we look at the development of issues such as policing, where we study the unpaid old watchmen that patrol the streets in Tudor and Stew times, right up to the 20th century and 21st century, where we see a trained and specialised force we look at the changes that have happened, including those brought about by technology, which has allowed for fingerprinting, a criminal, criminal database and the use of DNA, which allows crimes to be solved that would not have been able to be solved 50 years ago. We look at the changes in punishment from the use of stocks and pillory to open prison and tagging today. Martin Luther King made a huge contribution to the civil rights movement and for our coursework, we study his role alongside other factors which improve the treatment for black Americans. The course is examined with three written papers and one coursework unit, which is called the NEA. One paper is sat in year 10. This is normally the American in-depth paper. This paper is one hour long. The controlled assessment is completed in class and it teaches supervision. In year 11, students sit the Depression War and Recovery paper and the Crime and Punishment paper. There are a range of question types, many of which our students are already familiar with. They include questions on the accuracy of a source, a discussion question which is two-sided, along with questions asking them to use sources for information and to evaluate the usefulness of the source. The department provides a high level of support for our students. We set high standards and ensure that students are armed with what is requir required to gain success. We provide them with success criteria and make them aware of what next steps they need to undertake to make the leap to the next grade. The department provides a comprehensive revision program in the lead up to the examination, which includes after school lessons or clinics, we provide revision material for our students from revision guides to different learning activities. And we have a strong focus on identifying areas that need to improve. This has had a positive impact on our results, as you will see from the next slide. The department has a record of strong academic success. One in three of our students regularly achieve the top grade of an A star and A and we strive to see this figure improve. We set high standards and expect our students to reach 
their full potential. Many students choose to study history because they require a qualification in the subject for their chosen career path, for example, an archaeologist or even a history teacher. For others, they realise the benefit of qualification in history will bring due to the skills it offers because they are maybe looking to pursue a career in law, research or journalism. However, for a lot of students, they may not have a cho chosen career path marked out and therefore history should be for them if they feel they would find the course interesting, which in itself is far more likely to lead to success and also that they realise the value of an ac academic qualification which is highly valued by respected universities.